Hello everyone. In this video, I will be explaining you different ways of opening and closing the workbook and different ways of getting the path and full name of the workbook. For this, I have created two Excel files and have stored them in one folder. So these are the two Excel files that I have created and stored it in one folder. I will explain you all this different concept by writing the code in trial Excel. So let me go to trial Excel and in developer tab Visual Basic. Now in this Visual Basic, let me insert a module. So first I will be explaining you three common ways of closing the open workbook. So we have two open workbooks. First is trial and second is opening macro workbook. So I will be closing the opening work macro workbook in three different ways. So let us first op open the subroutine and let us name it as closing. So the first way of closing the open map workbook is workbooks. I will write the name of the workbook that I want to close. So opening macro dot excel sm the name of the workbook that I want to close and then close. So let me execute this code. So I am closing this opening macro Excel workbook. So let me run this code. So it has closed the opening macro workbook. Now let me again open the opening macro workbook and show you second common way of closing the workbook. So second common way of closing the workbook. Now here what changes we have to do is we just have to write the number. So I will write two. What do here represent is the second workbook that we opened in Excel. So that is opening macro workbook. So it will close the second workbook that we opened here. And let me try to run this code. So again, it will close opening macro workbook. So it has closed the opening macro workbook. Now let me show you the third common way of closing the workbook. So the third common way. The third common way is by writing active work book dot close. Now what it will do here is it will close the workbook that is active. So the active workbook currently is trial dot excel sm and it will try to close that workbook. Let me show you by running the code. So now it is asking me whether you want to save the changes that you made in trial Excel SM. So, no, I do not want to save and even I do not want to close this workbook. So I will cancel this. So these are the three different ways of closing the open workbook. Now, I will show you two common ways of opening the workbook. So first we discuss how we can close the open workbook. Now I will discuss 
how we can open the close workbook. So the first way is first way. So in this way, what we have to do is write the workbook dot open and then write the name of the workbook which you want to open. So opening macro dot so this macro I want to open. Let me execute the code. So it is opening the opening macro Excel file with this command. Now, important thing to note here is for this method of opening the Excel file, all the Excel file need to be in the same folder. If the Excel file is not in the same folder, then you will not able to open it. Now I will discuss the second method and in that method, this constraint is not there. What I mean to say here is in that method, Excel file need not to be in the same folder. So let us discuss the second way of opening the close file. Second way. So in order to illustrate that, let me first um, put this file in other folder. Let me put it on desktop. And let me write the code for the second way of opening the file. So in for that way, we have to define my file variable as string. Then we have to give that variable some value. So my file equals to application dot get open file name. So this will give me the entire name of the Excel file along with the path that you want to open. And then workbooks dot should be workbooks dot open. And then my file. So now let us execute this code. So this method will open the dialog box and in this dialog box, we can select the file that we want to open. So I want to open this opening macro file and it is opening this macro file. So these are the two common ways of opening the closed Excel file. Next, I will explain you the way of getting the path of the open Excel file. For that, the command line required is msg box work Books. So I want to get the path name or the path of the trial dot xlsm workbook and path. So this way we will be getting we will be getting the path where trial xlsm Excel file is stored. Let us execute this code. 
So Excel trial XLSM Excel file is stored at this particular location in my computer. So let us close this. Now in order to get the full name of the open Excel file, what I mean to tell you here is along with the path, if you want to get the name of the open Excel file, then what you have to write here is full name. So with this change, we will be getting the path along with the name of the open Excel file. So let me execute this code. So that's how we will be getting the path and the name of the open Excel file. Now, one thing to note here is this method will give the path and the name of the Excel file, which is open. If we want to get the path of the closed Excel file, then this procedure is not helpful. For that, we have to use one function that we discussed in opening Excel file discussion that is get open file name. So let me show you that. So for that, we have to define my file as string and then my file equals to application dot get open file name this so now let us execute this code and let me put this in the message box ms g box So let me run this code and show you how we can get the path as well as the file name of the close Excel file application. So it will, we have to select the opening macro and then the message box. So this way we will be getting the path as well as the file name of the close excel file in the next video i will show you how we can look through open workbooks thank you